All right, before we write the code, I want to kind of give you an example. Sometimes I want to do that because, you know, sometimes you might think this information is useless. In fact, ray casting is nothing but useful. You'll find that you use ray cast a lot more uh, than the actual rigid body collision uh, trigger. And here's why. Right now I have an enemy and I have this bar above the enemy. This indicates 100 units. And get in the habit of doing something like this. So we have a cube and all I did was I took it and made it 100 units and then I put it right above the character. I did this in order to uh, see what scale is. The enemy has a new script that I wrote just a few seconds ago because I wanted to write it first and then show you how it looks. And here I have an area of 100 on the area. And if I play this, when I get within range of 100, something happens. Ouch, I got hit by a fireball. And when I get into an area of like 75 or 80, something else happens. He chases me. Okay. And because ray casting is so friendly when it comes to physics, because really I'm not throwing anything, I'm not hurling myself at you, uh, therefore the collisions are a lot different. Uh, another thing is, I'm not reliant on a trigger, so the enemy does not have to keep triggering this on and off, leading to even more disruptions of physics. So raycasting is important because of that fact. Another thing is, oh yeah, because raycasting is so universal, I can turn an enemy from a wizard that throws fireballs to a zombie just by distinguishing the area as 10. So now, you should walk up to me, and then it triggers. Ouch, you hit me with a fireball. All right, so perfect. This is exactly what I want. Now, let's, now I wanted to show you this in a separate video, what raycasting is, uh, and in the next video, I'll teach you how to write the code for it.